Hello, my name is Dave Schwarm and I'm the Customer Service Manager here at Green Meadow Lawn Care. Today I want to talk to you, the customer, about what type of fertilizer is right for your lawn. Synthetic fertilizer, organic fertilizer, or organically enhanced fertilizer. Much debate on this subject has been had and it really just boils down to this. At the most basic level, nutrients are nutrients. However, there are significant differences between organic and synthetic fertilizers in terms of nutrient availability and the long-term effects on your soil and plants. There are also lawn programs that are organic-based or have soil conditioners added, micronutrients, biostimulants, bioroot enhancers, humic acid, mycorrhiza, etc. These added enhancers create a middle ground between synthetic and organic fertilizer programs giving you the homeowner another option but beware it also gives companies the chance to mislead you into thinking what they are doing is safer or better for the environment and worth paying more for let's refer to these upgrades as organically enhanced how do you choose there is no right answer it comes down to what you want to accomplish, why you want it done, and how much are you willing to budget to achieve the desired results. What I can tell you is if you're concerned about the environmental impact and the safety of your family, which most of us are, there's a few questions I would ask a service provider before hiring them. Number one, how much experience does the person coming to treat my lawn have and what type of training has he or she had? Number two, do they practice IPM or integrated pest, pest management, which minimizes the use of pesticides whenever possible? Number three, can you call or text me prior to service so that I can plan to keep my family off the lawn for the designated time before re-entry? Number four, do you blow off granulars from all areas other than my lawn when you're done? In conclusion, one of the biggest shortcomings of a synthetic fertilizer program is that it does little for the soil. One of the best ways to remedy this is stop bagging. Grass clippings are too valuable to waste. When left on the lawn, properly mowed grass clippings filter down into the soil and decompose rapidly, usually within a few weeks. During the breakdown process, the clippings feed soil organisms recycle plant nutrients and contribute organic matter to the soil. They can account for up to one pound of nitrogen per year, which is equivalent for one free lawn application a year. Good deal. Thank you for your time. Again, my name is Dave Schwarm, and I'm the customer service manager here at Green Meadow Lawn Care. Thank you.